Welcome to the Prop Master's Handbook. Today, I unleashed a canister of poison gas just for fun. What? Then why didn't I get a gas mask? Uh... Materials for this prop include a two liter bottle, a baseball cap, black duct tape, electrical tape, two small circular Tupperwares, two sink strainers, a black bottle cap, a safety mask, super glue, scissors, an X-Acto blade, and a Sharpie. First, cut off the brim of the hat and all around the rim. Next, cut off the neck of the soda bottle, down the side, and around the base. Cut off about two inches more along the entire bottle. Place a strip of duct tape in the center of the straight side of the bottle. Wrap it around the brim of the hat on the side that does not have the size adjuster. Make the length just long enough to secure the bottle on the other side. If you have excess tape, tear it off, or else you'll have tape covering the faceplate. Repeat this process for a couple more strips on each side of the first piece of tape. Bend the bottle inward so that one side of the bottle lines up with the brim of the hat. Use the duct tape to secure it in place. Cut away the excess plastic of the bottle. Repeat on the other side of the mask, again cutting away the excess of the bottle. At this point, you should have a soda bottle with a hat as the lining around the edges. Finish securing the rest of the edge with duct tape, trying to use as small strips as possible. Prep the safety mask by removing the fabric lining and the strap. Set it in the middle of the soda bottle about an inch from the curved bottom. Trace the shape of the mask with a sharpie. Use the X-Acto blade and scissors to cut out the shape. I'd cut it a bit smaller than the outline. You can always make finer cuts later. Make additional cuts until your mask fits snugly in the hole. From the inside of the bottle, use duct tape to secure the safety mask to the bottle all around the edges. Use small pieces as possible at the top of the safety mask so it won't obscure too much of your faceplate. Remove the cap from one of your circle Tupperwares. Line the edge in super glue and place the sink strainer on top. Allow time to dry. Use the electrical tape to cover the entire Tupperware. Repeat this process for the other Tupperware and strainer. Use the Sharpie to trace the circle shape onto the bottle on one side of the safety mask. Repeat on the other side and cut out the circles so the Tupperware fits snugly inside. From the inside of the mask, cover the hole with duct tape with the adhesive side outward. Place the Tupperware against the duct tape. Use the duct tape on the outside of the mask to form a secure lining all around the Tupperware. Repeat for the other Tupperware. Be sure that the two are even height-wise and distance from the safety mask. With the adhesive outward, run several strips of duct tape along the bottom of the mask connecting on both sides. Place the black bottle cap in the center below the safety mask and cover the whole portion in the black duct tape. Trim off the size adjuster if you haven't already. Cover the remaining portions of the safety mask, leaving the faceplate alone. If it's not already black, use the Sharpie to shade in the safety mask filter and cover the plastic in small strips of electrical tape. Use the duct tape to create the headband, first with a strip of adhesive outward, then with a strip inward, covering it. Repeat for the top band running perpendicular to the first. At this point, you're virtually finished. However, I never liked the texture of the duct tape, so I rewrapped mine with electrical tape. The electrical tape also allows me to create smooth lines around the faceplate. 
And there's your finished gas mask. Great news, everyone. The doctors say Alex's skin tone should return to normal in about a month. I hate you.